It's official. We're here with Dr. Christine Schaffner. I'm your host, Siobhan Sarna, and I founded a platform called SIBO SOS to help people with their gut issues uh, save ourselves SOS. And I also, at the same time, started Chronic Condition Rescue because there was a ton of stuff wrong with me. And I'd been exposed to mold unknowingly for 20 years. And uh, I was just looking at some of my old tests starting back in 2006 was my first food allergy test because I thought, surely it must be what I'm eating. No. Anyway, <laughs> fast forward, here we are today. Thousands of my dollars spent and thousands of special practitioners spoken to through the 10 summits I've done, including the uh, Fascia and Chronic Pain Rescue Summit with dear Kelly Kennedy as my co-host, the Lymphatic Rescue Summit, which is re-airing in, uh, well, we, I'll tell you about that in a second, and the Liver Gallbladder, which is starting up June 19th. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got a lot to talk about today, thank you. And Dr. Christine Schaffner has been a key contributor to all those projects. So she is a naturopath out of Seattle, Washington. She is not just your typical naturopath. She thinks beyond and then beyond that. She mm -hmm. likes to live in the quantum and in the flow. <laughs> and she deals with the space in between the cells, your interstitial spaces, your terrain, and all of the normal stuff as well. So on top of all the normal naturopathic medical perspectives, she wants to know what's going on in the space between and the lymph and the fascia and the vibration and the sound. So before we get woo on you, because I'm probably the wooest on the call. I know, I love saying, you bringing out your woo, right? I love it. I bring it on, I'm bringing it out. Um, she's probably uh, one of the most science-based people I know, which is saying a lot. And so it's a beautiful melding of these different perspectives. There's no denying it. She's been my doctor. I've paid her money to have her treat me and evaluate my multiple tests. And I really trust her. So while she doesn't do the online consults for people all over, she, if you happen to be in her state or maybe a couple of other states, she does. But in the meanwhile, she's created a lot of material for those of us who want to do things ourselves, courses with her, some specialty products. Today, we're going to go deep dive into lymph hormones, Fashta, and I'm going to hand things right over to her. Good to have you here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Wow. We're going to have fun. Um, and we're going to have a fun conversation. I always love being in Siobhan's community because she educates you so well, and especially about these topics. And we're going to have a little bit of a different lens than normal. So if you've seen me speak before, we really dive into the nuts and bolts of the fascia, the extracellular matrix. And um, we're going to be talking about really the lens of um, women's health and hormones and lymphatics and how those tie together. And we have some um, experiences to share with you. This is a really fun way that I get to interact with my community um, outside of my clinic, which I'm very busy during the week. I'm um, treating so many wonderful people, and I know that not everybody can make it to our office. And so we have these offerings so we can experience this other way of working together. So I am going to, I have a PowerPoint I'm going to share. So um, I'm going to just get started here. Um, da -da -da -da. Share screen. Here we go. Okay. So um, we're going to, again, d dive into these concepts in lymph and hormone. And we're also going to be talking about you know, really how do we mirror what we're going on with the rhythms of our internal, especially endocrine system with the rhythms of nature and the cycles of nature. And so we created a 28 day lymph and hormone cleanse. This is the second time I have run this program. It's one of my most favorite programs that we have created. And I'm just going to make sure that you see why we've created this, why this is so special and give you some um, information to think about. So here, who here, you know, on the call knows about circadian biology. I'm so happy that this has been a popular topic in more and more conversations. You know, there are some of my colleagues who just treat the hormonal system by telling people to go out and look at the light during sunrise, 
you know, uh, midday and sunset, and that can fix your hormones. And they're, they're actually not wrong. It's just that sometimes people need more, but that's a very foundational part of um, how our hypothalamic pituitary system communicates. And so I'm connecting us to these rhythms, right, of life. And we have circadian rhythms. And we have on one aspect, you'll see this um, looking at circadian biology and a lot of the scientific knowledge that's been um, discovered about how we have peak hormone and peak activities in the body at different times of our circadian biology. Um, so different times of the day, we might have peak hormones um, at those different times or uh, peak functions. And then we know ancient wisdom has shown us with the Chinese medicine clock um, that our organ system has a timing and timing is everything right and it um, goes through the daily uh, clock the 24 hours circadian rhythm that we look at different systems in the body and again one of my clinical pearls to know that this um, ancient system works often when people come to me in the they're saying, I'm waking up, you know, at 2 a.m. and, you know, every night on the clock and, you know, I, I'll look at this clock and I'll be like, okay, 2 a.m., liver time. And I start giving them liver support and they actually start sleeping better. So um, I wanted to touch on circadian biology um, and circadian rhythm. And then, you know, I'm not trained in Chinese medicine, but I so appreciate the system and i get weekly acupuncture. I um, share this with my patients, but there's, you know, also the seasonal rhythms, right? So um, we have different um, seasons and our organs and our um, systems are doing, you know, they're, they're better times to support and cleanse. So we think about often spring is really great for the liver and the gallbladder. Um, that's a really good time for cleansing. Um, you know, the winter months are more about, you know, um, preserving um, energy and it's really good for nourishing uh, kidney energy. We also think about the summer. We think of um, stomach spleen. Spleen is part of the lymphatic system. Um, and then um, winter, or sorry, um, fall rather, is also a nice time to do um, cleansing. And we have, think about like the colon and lungs, those are paired meridians. And then at the top, what we're also going into um, is heart and small intestine. And, you know, the heart is the circulatory system, which is very tied into the, you know, limb system as well. So, you know, we, we have these energies and we have these um you know movement of energy through our body during these different seasons so a little note on that and what i started the call with you know this is this idea with the circadian rhythm like why does that work why do people just look at the sun and you know they're able to balance their hormones well we know this every day right we know that we you know often most of us wake up with the sun and we go to bed with the sun and you know why why is that happening you know our bodies are responding to light and i think a big part of why many people are sick is that we have you know so many things going on in our indoor environment these days that um are affecting that light information in the body through um unnatural led internal lights to looking at you know, blue light after, you know, the sun goes down after, um, you know, in the evening. And why that is problematic is because light enters our eyes. So our eyes are amazing and they send information to the brain and it sends, um, you know, this information to what's called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, which is really the master biological clock in humans. So it's helping us tune into these circadian rhythms. And this, um, you know, suprachiasmatic nucleus has 20,000 neurons um, and it's part of the uh, hypothalamus, which is that, you know, we talk a lot about the pituitary, but above the pituitary is the hypothalamus. So we have hypothalamic pituitary information happening when we are looking at light. And then this is a big part of, you know, um, going to bed um, because it also helps us to signal melatonin. And that's why, um, you know, we, when we have blue light in the day, um, melatonin, or sorry, when we have blue light at night, melatonin gets confused and we don't 
um, secrete it as optimally as we can. And that's why some people can have uh, sleep issues. Other rhythms um, and other ideas around this is there is the study of chronobiology and chronobiology is fascinating. And one day either maybe AI will help me in a good way. I'm privy to the AI in a bad way, but I'm saying in a good way, figure out how to time my protocols with actually peak timing of the um, what, how to support people during the day, like how to um, actually like give them the right remedy at the right time. Cause I think that's really where personalized medicine is going. It's the study of um, chronobiology is the study actually of biological rhythms and how our body's natural cycles are affected by the rhythms of the sun and moon and seasons. And so we, you know, um, we can look at that and some people are, you know, studying about giving in the conventional world, they're saying like, how do we maybe sometimes give people medications at certain times so they can, that they can have an optimal um, expression. I have to apologize. I have my space heater on because we live in Seattle and it was a 50 degree day, but I'm just getting my my circadian biology is confused right now. And I just have to turn that off while I'm talking or I'm going no to start, I, I'm going to just no start problem. out in the sauna. I'll be right back. It's just right here. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm right back. I turned it on quickly and forgot um, when I started this and it I'm going to have a sauna experience if I don't start. So, so I think the study of chronobiology is fascinating and where we're headed. And have any of you read this book about chronotypes? This is, you know, interesting. And there are some people, right, no matter what, you're like, go to bed at 10, you know, like get that sleep before midnight. Um, you know, that's the best way to support you. They're just wired that they get they have more natural energy at night again there are plenty of problems that can prevent you from doing that but it's this idea of there's a timing in life right and some of us you know all of us are different of course and some of us just have different tendencies and different rhythms you know during um you know the day that we just have to embrace and accept and know when to do things at the right time so i thought this was just a fun little pearl to give people there's wolves that are night owls there are lions that are early birds um you know and then there's also dolphin and bears are the most common they tend to rise and sleep with the sun and there's a little quiz you can take um, if you're super fascinated in this and then the moon. If you work in my office, you're in touch with the moon. And we're really going to embrace this moon cycle um, during, you know, this cleanse. It is a 28 day cleanse. We are actually starting it around the full moon. Um, and then we will have a new moon. If you're not in touch with the moon, I would really, um, you know, encourage you to start looking at the moon. I have a calendar called the magic of I many of them, we Siobhan and I connect on so many levels, but one um, aspect of our connection is our <laughs> connection with the moon and the connection with the astrological rhythms in life. And, um, you know, it, it's really important when you think about the moon and how much light the moon is um, sharing with us during any given uh, time in its cycle. It, not, it affects the tides, right? So that's, you know, pretty powerful. And we're mostly water, right? And so um, that change in light and change in positioning, actually how it affects the tides can also affect the waters within us and also the waters within potentially the microbes within us. And we often see in, um, in the full moon and sometimes the new moon as well, um, especially people have chronic infections and parasitic infections um, and the parasites are most active and then they can procreate during that time and I have often part of my um, history intake is asking people, you know, when do you um, have symptoms and some people say, you know, oh, every so often I have these symptoms. I'm like, is that during the, the full moon? And then they start tracking it and they notice they are more symptomatic then. So we have um, the new moon known as the dark moon and then um, waxing is going up. The moon is gaining light during the full moon and waning. It's when it's um, losing light, if you will. So that's another cycle that you may or may not be in touch with. 
and then, you know, for the purpose of, of this call, we have the menstrual cycle, right? And we're going to be talking a lot about hormones. And um, if women are menstruating, they have, you know, changes in their pitu hypothalamic pituitary uh, secretion of hormones that affect their um, ovarian hormones that have significant shifts in their estrogen and progesterone, and that affects their uterine lining, and then that can affect menstruation. And these hormones impact many other systems as well. Um, if you are a mast cell patient, you'll notice that you might have um, more flares during ovulation or that one week before um, your period. Um, and if you're just a chronically ill patient, many of them have a really um, hard dip right before their uh, period. Um, or if you're deficient, or if you have estrogen dominance um, and have excessive estrogen, um, if you're full of mycotoxins and those are about, those mycotoxins are affecting your liver uh, phase one, one, two, and three detoxification, that's going to put stress on your whole hormonal axis and affect your estrogen. Even some um, mycotoxins, especially that one um, with the Z, Z E A, xerolinone, is also called a mycoestrogen because of its estrogenic effects. So I mentioned this already, there's also this other aspect of, you know, looking at timing and timing of protocols and timing of how you feel. And women, especially with chronic illness, I think this is important because um, the follicular phase is when things are building, estrogen is building, um, and it's before ovulation. And so women are actually less vulnerable to infections then. And then we have ovulation and a progesterone peaks and estrogen um, kind of trails off. And, you know, progesterone is a very helpful hormone, but this is one lens, um, you know, about it that because um, every cycle women may get pregnant and if they get pregnant, they're exposed to foreign DNA, the, um, the immune system has to be able to accept that. And so if, you know, when progesterone, um, you know, goes high, people are more vulnerable to infections because their immune system isn't, um, you know, it's kind of in that kind of lower force phase and doesn't want to be reactive or more, um, you know, more like in a fighting mode, if you will. Um, and then um, there have been studies here that even like around ovulation, because this is when this starts happening, um, females are more prone to infections from yeast, bacteria, and viruses. So some of you might be experiencing that um, and haven't put that together yet. And then this is kind of a term that I've um, coined in my practice because I just see it all the time. And you know how I learn what to talk about is because my patients teach me. And this is called um, the luteal phase flare that I've shared with people because in the beginning we have the follicular phase and then ovulation, after ovulation we have the luteal phase. And then I often see that one week right before their period, um, I don't know if anyone's comfortable sharing that and that's okay, I'm not going to ask people, but just think internally right now, is that you? Like if especially I'm talking a lot to people with chronic illness because I know Siobhan, um, you know, her community, obviously um, people are trying to find answers. And so if you realize that right before your period, you feel worse, everything kind of gets flared, you don't know what's going on. Um, and I share here in the few days preceding and throughout menstruation, people are more likely to experience negative or worsening of symptoms from chronic health conditions. So there's a woman, Dr. Marilyn Barkley, um, this has been done like 20 years ago, not enough research is done on, you know, um, on this, um, but they, they found some things out. So prostaglandins are actually increasing during these phase as the uterus um, prepares to, um, for the lining to shed. Um, so prostaglandins tend to be inflammatory. It's actually, we look at one prostaglandin marker when people um, have mast cell activation because it's actually one of the mediators that mast cells also produce. So the prostaglandins increase. So if you're already inflamed and then now you have this hit of prostaglandins, that can create pain and inflammation. 
That's also a reason why we often get people eating primrose oil during that time because that can balance the prostaglandin secretion. And then Mary Lynn Barkley's study that women with Lyme tend to have an increase in symptoms the week before their menstrual cycle. So Dr. Mary Lynn Barkley, she identified that there is an interval of increased immune activity several days before the onset of menses. And this is what we were seeing, right? We we're like, what, what's going on? So she speculated. So she's like the only woman I found to study this. So if you guys know other research, please let me know. But she speculated that the increase in immune response kills an increased number of spirochetes during this period, which leads to the intensified symptomology and the increased of shedding of an antigen. So how, what, what, that, what does that mean, right? So progesterone after ovulation is climbing, it's climbing, and then it's starting to drop. And, to get, and then, you know, prostaglandins are coming in, progesterone is starting to drop, and that's the time when people flare. So progesterone is kind of putting you in this immune suppressive phase. It stabilizes mast cells um, as well, and then it starts dropping. So you're kind of like asleep or quiet to the things that are, um, you know, that are going on in your body. And then you have a drastic dip. So the immune system now kind of reengages, and that can feel like a flare. Uh, for these women who are doing um, having these symptoms, I often give them increased antimicrobials during this time or uh, in addition to anti-inflammatories to help them and, and that's helped um, a lot. And the timing of a tick bite actually might be um, really important whether people get infected or if they're resistant. I'm a terrain person, so I think there's many things that are going on, but I, I think this is one of the things like to increase our resilience is, you know, um, healthy hormone balancing can affect our immune system. Also, the timing of a Lyme test may be best three to four days prior to your period. Um, Lyme is really hard to test for. Um, the tests are getting better and better. Um, but this is just like, again, a clinical pearl that um, I don't I don't enforce this in my office that people have to do that. But it's just a point of curiosity that we might get better results during this time. And again, you know, okay, women menstruate, but then there's um, this whole transition into menopause. So, you know, this is a good visual, you know, about our estrogen, estrogen levels, and they tend to decline as we age. Um, I think that modern life actually also makes that um, stair step decline faster and um, not as smooth and more complicated and there's a lot of ways to build resiliency you know while we're going through that decline in estrogen so we have from 0 to 35 to 45 premenopause people are menstruating um, perimenopause is about 35 to 45 to 51 depending on you know your history then we go into menopause and postmenopause where um, people are not having those fluctuations in hormones um, and that impacts everything as well. So what I try to map out is we are amazing humans and we live in this beautiful ecosystem of Mother Earth and there are rhythms within us and around us that really impact how we feel. And the more that we tune into these rhythms of nature and rhythms within us and how they interact and how we can use those energies to help support us also to navigate um, when things may and like when we might need more support, the healthier we are. And I, be, I think a big part of this healing um, journey that we are all on is that we are this microcosm of a macrocosm and the more that we tune in to what needs to happen within our bodies there's a mirroring that needs to you know kind of happen on um the earth and so right now humans are really stressed right and the earth is really stressed and so um i think it's always a point of reflection um, of how we live in, you know, how can we live more in symbiosis and acknowledging that connection is powerful in and of itself. So 
we have these four phases that we mapped out through this 28 day cycle and again i've done this once before and it was just everybody had so much fun we learned a lot we had a really impactful time and um we are excited to invite those who feel called to this because it's going to be um not only educational so we're going to be going through balancing estrogen in the first phase um liver and bile support the lymphatics and then um, balancing progesterone so we're going to be giving you education but also it's very experiment or experiential one of the anchors that we're going to be doing is um, this has been so cool how this has become so popular um, seed cycling so this is um, really comes from naturopathic medicine and this is idea that we can take seeds as well as oils to balance you know hormones and when we look at it, um, the follicular phase is the um, you know, first half of the cycle and um, the um, luteal phase is the later half. And um, if you're not cycling, you can use new moon to full moon. Um, and it's this idea we need more omega-3s um, in the first half. So you can use pumpkin and um, flax seeds excuse me and then in the luteal phase you can use sunflower and sesame so these are um supporting more omega-6s so these seeds you know also have oils within them or you can supplement with an addition flax or fish oil um or on the back half evening primrose oil um, oil or borage oil um, for that balance and just also acknowledging there's a shift in what we need during different times of our um, 28 day rhythm um, is also really powerful and just a quick aside um, again I, I'm so happy this has become more popular but when I was um, younger a lot of reasons why I returned to naturopathic school I was on a break as I was figured out my life and deciding whether or not to become an MD or an ND. And I met my dear friend, Dr. Marie Rodriguez, and she um, really is, was a beautiful, she's a beautiful woman. And I still refer to her. She does a lot more in the realm of energy, but she did at the time, a lot of endocrine balancing. And she got me on seed cycling. She gave me plant stem cells. She did craniosacral and she balanced my hormones in a way that I had never experienced before as a young woman. Um, and so that experience really sat with me and I just feel like um, as women in society, a lot of us get told, right, oh, you have horrible cramps that make you lay in bed like three days a month and you got to plan your life around. Oh, that's normal. You know, don't worry, just take some Advil and you know that you'll get through it. Um, like, no, there's like something wildly wrong that, that your body is screaming at you to uncover. Um, so, you know, this cycle that we are given should be a time of, um, you know, really deep honoring the rhythms within us and it should be peaceful. Um, it shouldn't create a lot of um, aggravation or symptoms. And if it does, it, you know, our body is messaging to us. So through this journey, we're going to be anchoring with the seed um, seed cycle program. We're also going to be giving you um, supplements to choose. There's a guided supplement program that is not required for the cleanse, but it is an opportunity to amplify and go deeper. Um, my dear friend Katie Strakosh, um, Sunshine Kate, many of um, you may know her by. Um, she was like my maid of honor in my wedding. She's a beautiful woman. Uh, she's like a walking wellness center. So she is really wonderful at um, guiding us through um, yoga, breath work, meditation. So we're going to have that um, each week to anchor us into each cycle. Um, she's really awesome also at giving people um, tools for abdominal massage and also um, breast massage, different ways to get the lymph moving. She um, also does a lot of work with what's called um, yoni steaming. That might be a very new term for you, but it's a, a way to use herbs um, and you, you put herbs in a, um, in a crock pot or some way to get the steam um, going so it can help to extract the volatile oils of the herbs and it's a traditional practice and women sit over those herbs um, and there's lots of different ways to do this so it's comfortable 
um, and you don't burn yourself. Um, but that um, really reaches the pelvic bowl and the pelvic bowl is such a part of our body that, you know, we're sitting all day, you know, I'm part of why Siobhan talks about you know, lymph and fascia um, all day long is because our sedentary life uh, lifestyle, right, really can congest these areas of our body and the pelvic bowl. Um, it's an area that can really get congested quite quickly. Just think of gravity, you know, there's a lot that just kind of will go and sit in, in that fascial kind of swing. Um, and if we have um, lymph and pelvic um, congestion that can lead to a lot of other systemic issues um, and congestion as well. Um, our dear friend Kelly thinks the ovaries are even part of the lymphatic system because of them kind of being in that um, area that needs to have circulatory movement and kind of flow. Um, so these are, aren't these amazing people who are going to be on this live? Oh um, my gosh, those are greatest hits right there. That is I know, right? Hits. It's like, it's a, it's a greatest hits. So um, myself and Heather, Heather Parisi is a dear friend. We actually met at Joe Dispenza. Um, we just sat next to each other in like 1400 people and she's a wonderful woman and she's a um an herbalist a nurse practitioner she's just studied um with dr rosensweet and knows a lot about bioidentical hormones and how to do them um with the titration method which is a really wonderful way to work with each woman i i do think bioidentical hormones has a a place for women in different phases of life. I think life is so stressful um, and there is um, significant risks at having low hormones in these phases of life. Um, hormones help to protect our bones and our brain and our heart. So everyone is individual and you have to um, weigh all those out. But I, I do think there's a place. We're not gonna be prescribing hormones in this cleanse, but I'm just sharing how Heather is there to support I also mentioned Katie. Um, Masami is on the call, I believe, and she's open to chatting um, at the right time, which um, she's just a, another soul sister who is really passionate about all of this work. Dr. Amanda Wilms, she's going to be really, um, uh, she's going to talk about, she's one of the doctors in my office, and she's going to talk about the immune system and hormones. Kelly's going to be bringing the lymph into the equation. Jody's going to be talking about essential oils. Jennifer Payer and I are dear friends, and we work with the plant stem cells. So she's going to be talking about her journey. Um, she um, had a journey with breast cancer, and the, um, the plant stem cells really helped her um, recover, and um, she's dedicated her life to sharing those. And then Sinclair is, I'm sure, very well known in your community um, for all of the wonderful liver and gallbladder work that she does. And then Via works with me. We're going to be having intention circles as part of the cleanse as well. So this is going through a little bit of what we're going to be offering. So we're going to be having, it's going to be a jam-packed schedule. So we're going to have a lot of opportunity to connect, to um, learn for you, from each of those speakers. We're going to have um you know really not only education but experience each week um and then we're going to have a really fun virtual retreat day um where we're going to have a sound bath we're going to have um a kind of like a astrological kind of opportunity to kind of see the energies of the time a group intention circle and more and come join us we're gonna have fun we're gonna have a lot All of fun. right so uh, you're gonna have an astrological hoedown on one of those during the retreat i love that part yeah i know like a, right a square dance better way yeah to yeah say it. we're gonna have a hoedown yeah an astrological hoedown i love it <laughs> <laughs> thank you dr schaffner i really appreciate that listen yeah. i wanted to talk uh we have a few questions but i wanted to if you can stop sharing your screen for a second oh yeah sorry about so, that so oh sure i um what i love about this program is that it's sort of, it's a retreat, right? You, the whole thing is like a retreat, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to be interacting live during this time. Is that true, Dr. Schaffner? Oh yeah, yeah, it's a live yeah. event. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. live event, okay. So for those of you who've been craving like a live connection event and you don't 
you know, know how to find that. You don't want to go to an island off the coast of wherever and, you know, live in a yurt for a while. That could be fun, but I'm just saying, here's a way to virtually do it. I know at least half of the women on that practitioner list and they are all phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Like, holy, wow, those women are special. And if Christine loves the other women, then I love them too. So, I mean, we're talking about world-class practitioners here. And honestly, Christine doesn't need to do this. It's just one of her passions. She could just be very happily working her butt off at her <laughs> clinic. But if, if you're interested, this is, you know, it's not, not the right timing for everybody. I totally get that. But I wanted to make this available for you all because mm -hmm. if, and, and by the way, if you have young women, in you know in their tween te teen years teen years adolescent bring them oh my yeah, gosh I if i had had oh this gosh. wouldn't that what be amazing gift. yeah what totally. a gift yeah this is going to be wisdom gift. that you carry for the rest of your lives and then share it with the next generation please because mm -hmm. that's the way we're going to change the planet and certainly yeah. heal but one thing i wanted to just quickly show you and i have a goodie for you if you decided to sign up no pressure but hold on let me find it where is the here it is. Thanks. Hi, Clarissa. Thank you for this. So I just wanted to share the info page. Clarissa has put it in the um, chat. Do, 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 do. Here it is. Boom. Pretty picture of Dr. Schaffner. It's oh. Amethyst and gold background. Super cool. <laughs> so it's June, June, June 2nd through the 29th. What if I'm not available like every single day? How much time is involved? Yeah, no worries. Everything's going to be recorded. You're going to have a portal. You're going to have access to all of this. You can do it at your own pace. Um, so there's going to be about um, three ways to interact each week, um, plus some guided experiences with Katie. So. Um, okay, and Jennifer says she wants to do it, but I'm going to be traveling for a week to see Joni Mitchell Woo, oh, how fun. in Washington State. So how can I do this? Um, it, what if you yeah. miss a week? Will it be available online for me to do it on my own pace? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Yeah, I know everybody is quite busy and has, you know, commitments and everything. And so, you know, just don't feel the pressure um, that you have to attend every experience, which um, again, I'm, there are going to be those people and I love you for it. Um, but everything again is in your portal. You're going to have access to it. And the cool thing too, about the yoga and the breath work and the meditation is you get to have that forever, right? You know, I do some type of, you know, meditation exercise every morning, and this could be part of your library. Victoria is saying, how much does it take every day? How much time daily? What's the commitment? And do I need Facebook? Uh, you don't need Facebook. We're going to be doing it through Mighty Networks. Yep. So you don't need Facebook. Yep. Um, so every day, yeah, we'll give you the schedule when you sign up, but it's about, it's not every day. Um, there's about three, you know, three experiences, but a half an hour to an hour, um, about three days a week. Nice. And then is it limited access or is it ongoing? Ongoing. Yeah. Ongoing. So that's philosophically another place where Dr. Schaffner and I really click is yeah. that I, and all respect to anybody who wants to do it anyway, but we at SIBO SOS and Chronic Condition Rescue, we give you ongoing access and Dr. Schaffner does the same. So, I mean, if you don't get to it right away, you can come back to it. I think it's great if you can participate live, but you know, what are you doing this summer? So if, if you're like, you know what, I really need some downtime. I really need some time to myself or Oh my gosh, it's going to be a madhouse, but I'm going to carve out a half an hour, three times a week, mm -hmm. then go for it. Okay, hold on. And I know there's some questions about, okay, menopause, women who are in perimenopause and menopause, is it okay for them? Of course. Yeah, no, there are many, um, there are a few women, our, our co-host, you know, who knows a lot about that personally and a lot of training how to um share share with people tools and support we're meeting people at each phase you know this is a collective hormonal experience from as we said teenagers to people who are you know in their menopausal years you know there's going to be ways to connect with um each um phase of where you're at okay uh donna it's three 30 minutes to an hour three days a week if you want you can do five minutes once a week and then circle back around that's just like if you want to have the whole immersive experience in live timing 
but otherwise you can just do you. So I don't want you to feel like ah, I'm strangling. I'm already too busy because I know that feeling. So just do you and post-menopause, same thing, Donna, they're going to meet you where you are. Um, let's see. Okay. Don't get overwhelmed. <laughs> um, let's see. Can you get into a Q and a and help out with Senesia, um, Clarissa, she needs a, an email address. I wanted to show you something else. Okay, so we have 15 minutes left, but I wanted to share a couple of things that I wanted to help you make a decision to do this. So let me go show you the goodies that I have for you. And I am just going to show you Tia Trevisano's class. Oh, awesome. which if you sign up, yeah, if you sign up for this, reach out to info at SIBOSOS.com. If you sign up for this in the next few days, I think it's like a week, then I will give you as a bonus gifty um, the masterclass with Dr. Tia Trevisano, awesome. who is fantastic. So this is, yeah. um, that's me after a dental procedure. Yeah. Um, don't look at the top one. It's this one. Unlock the gateway to vitality, healthy mouth and healthy body, healthy mind. So that's Dr. Tia Trevisano, who I know Dr. Christine Schaffner also really likes. And yeah. I was so inspired by her class. She's a naturopath. She works with Dr. Jerry Curtola, our mutual friend. And yeah. it's awesome. It's, it talks yeah. about the um, different pathways, detoxification, biological dentistry, Chinese medicine. It was excellent. So cool. It's, so that, that, and that's so important for your hormones and your lymphatics. Um, so I'm so happy Siobhan is gifting that to you because then you get like all this information to have um, any roadblocks removed. Even, I mean, seriously, that, that class is $59 and sells very frequently on our website, but mm -hmm. hold on, Clarissa sent me another link because I wanted to do something crazy. Okay, hang on. I'm going <laughs> to stop for, right for a second. Divine. <laughs> Got a little light vibe going. Okay, we're going to go for some questions right now. Um, Eileen is saying, I had hormone positive breast cancer, so not looking to balance those hormones, rather suppress them. Can I still participate in this cleanse? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think there's going to be lots of opportunity for you to, um, you know, support your lymph and your endocrine system in a way that's not going to be um you know in a safe mindful way for you um and we have a lot of you know i think just the experiences alone are worth it too so community you're gonna have yeah. such a great community um mm -hmm. so mary she answered that and then what about if you had a hysterectomy at age 45 yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think you would get a lot of benefit for a lot of what we're going to be talking about because there's a lot of, you know, fascial restrictions and lymphatic uh, congestion that can happen when we go through surgical procedures and we'll, we'll have support for that. Clarissa is telling me, Siobhan, tell everyone you need to send your proof of purchase to info at SIBOSOS.com. See, I'm not like that organized to really like do this beforehand. And I kind of make some stuff up on the fly um, based on my inspiration. So just bought it. Mira, great. Go ahead and email info at SIBOSOS.com. And we haven't even like told our customer service yet. So give them a little bit and they will send you the TIA masterclass and the entire summit because you're, you're doing it in that little window. So for those of you who are watching the recording, you will be getting the masterclass with Dr. Tia Trevisano regarding... Oh, the oral um, biological dentist dentistry. Um, I want to call it like vortex. So that is um, your gift for that's $59 and truly priceless. Email us at info at SIBOSOS.com. If you choose to take advantage of the um, 28 day lymph and hormone program. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Schaffner, if someone, let's see, we did that. Hang on. Um, complete hysterectomy. It's still fine. Right. Mm -hmm. For the same, the, for what I just shared. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. If you retain water, if you're puffy, if you feel toxic, if you feel like more emotional near your, near your period, if you don't have a period anymore and you still feel like, wow, I'm just like, not right. I feel super emotional. I cry at Hallmark commercials. Um, my mom used to do that. And my sister does. And I used to, and then I got my hormones fixed and I'm like, 
I'm not going to cry. I'm fine. No, seriously. Um, I still get touched, but I don't like lose it. Mm-hmm. This, uh, you don't know how, how to sign up. Peggy, just find the link in the chat. Um, how much is it? It's let me, sh- how much is it again? Uh, 369. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks, Donna. Okay. Mm-hmm. Meg happily took the lymph class in the fall. Cool. How do I sign up? Jennifer, it's in the chat. Clarissa just reposted it. Okay. Um, Blaze, do you adjust the circadian biology clock with the time changes we do here in the States? Mm -hmm. Good question. Yes, it will just be, you know, kind of that. Um, the clock stays the chain. the The circadian clock stays the same, even though our clocks change, and that's why we have such a hard time because we have to recalibrate. No. I've noticed a pattern you mentioned with Lyme spiking uh, in myself for a while now, but never knew it was a real thing with a name. Will we address that in the class as well? Yeah, Doctor Wilms is going to be talking all about the immune system and I'll be weaving that in too because that's what I said and you know I made that up that name the luteal phase flare because I um I saw that all the all the time and with my patients so we're all learning and um yeah my patients you know share that with me a lot and then I did find research explaining so that we could have some more understanding why why this is happening cool I love that you coined more phrases I think that's fantastic okay (laughs) Um, we have eight minutes. What questions do you have? What other questions do you have about the program? If anybody has any other questions, we would love to hear from you about that. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, I already participated in the Lymph Summit and own it. It's fabulous. Uh, Yes. Well, I'm not going to say your phone number out loud because you're registered as your phone number, but yes, you could one person, one license. So don't be spread it at all over the world and Uh, There are copyright implications with that too. But yes, you could. I would let you do that for sure. So we have seven minutes left. If you wanted to um, get the gift of, because you were here live of the summit as well. But if you're watching this recording, as so many hundreds of you do after the live event, welcome. Thank you for being here and taking the time. Mm -hmm. Um, I know that's a lot. You would still get the phenomenal masterclass from Dr. Tia Trevisano regarding your biological dentistry, which is like not doing it justice. She Mm -hmm. takes you through why it's important, your teeth meridians. She's a very, very comprehensive. She um, She's really special too. And she works closely with Dr. Jerry Curatola. So we've got a lot going on here with our, with some very special people. If you don't know everybody, that's okay. By the time you're done with the summit in this session, you're gonna, you know, with Dr. Schaffner's 28 day lymph and hormone cleanse, you're gonna have a lot of resources and I'm very excited about you meeting these people. Speaking of which, who is, tell me a little bit about our little quick special guest. So Masami Covey is a dear friend and we just connected. I think it was just divine intervention. We connected and I had um, her on my podcast and I kid you not, you know, I do a podcast once a week and I had more questions and um messages of adoration about masami's you know podcast and how helpful it was and how connected they felt with her and she talked about how the bile is the golden elixir and she has a you know functional nutrition training and she is just very connected to um the science and to nature and um she has joined me to create um this program this year together and she's going to be a really amazing anchor and guide through the experience so she shared she was going to be on the call and so we siobhan and i always like to be exciting on these calls and so we wanted to invite her to talk floris is wondering about that dental class um clarissa can you share the link with her there's two there's two master classes about dentistry. It's the one with Tia that you would be getting. And it's normally $59. Okay, where are you? I just saw you, my dear. <laughs> Yay. Hang on. Hi. All right. Massima Covey. I'm going to allow you to talk, Massima. And then I'm going to try to bring you on. And then. Oh, look, she's you. coming. Is she? Yeah, I see her beautiful picture on her Zoom. You, do? Okay. <laughs> you can turn on your camera. Yeah. I don't. I don't even know how to turn on my camera on this thing. Wow. Go down to the bottom of your Zoom screen. 
By the way, I'm totally soaking up this light. Oh my goodness, I use the Zoom all day long and I only see microphone with this one. It might not be enabled, maybe. Mm. Maybe, let me see. All right. Well, talk to us. What What are you excited about this program? And, oh, my, and, um, oh my goodness. I'm just so grateful to both of you. First of all, I just love both of you. This is so awesome. Um, and I mean, it's just so funny that Siobhan, you got this rainbow coming through. It's just, I know. It's it's like, so you. But what I'm, what I'm excited the most, and there's so much, but the moon phases that is so close to my heart growing up in Japan and the Asian culture really weaves the moon cultures in, moon phases in. So I will be talking a lot about every Saturday, I'm going to be doing moon related movements and meditation and breath work and connecting to different organs for that. Um, okay, join us panelists. Yep. Okay, and you can turn on your camera. Okay. There we go. There we go. Hi. 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 The beautiful Sami. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm excited about, how to connect the moon cycles with the different organs as well, because different organs will speak to different phases. And I actually reached out to Dr. Christine's team and said, I don't want to just talk on the full moon and new moon. There are these two other phases that really bring out the duality in us the yin and yang in us, the front and back, the side to side. There's so much that the, we want to discover through those kind of a half points as well. So I will be guiding people through that as well. So I'm very excited. And my love of fascia and psoas, I will be talking about that during the lymph week. So yeah, perfect. And the psoas for people who don't know where it is, do you want to say where it's connected? <laughs> well, I mean, maybe we'll leave that as a mystery, but basically yeah, yeah. so as connects the heaven and earth, yeah. so as connects your past and the future self. So it's a very dynamic muscles that are so interwoven with the fascial connections. And actually that there's a connection to spleen, oh. spleen's health yeah. with the fascia too. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And there's a, it's a, it's an area that carries our souls soul's mission because if the psoas is locked up and tightened and frozen then they are not going to move your life forward so it's a part of um your soul's contract to have psoas that's operating at the um very healthy level and i know siobhan you will connect with the yoga side of this and then it's also well, yeah that's connected we have to, to tell them where it is we have to do we can't give it a mystery <laughs> So it's connecting your legs to your trunk on each yeah. side. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. spelled P S O O A S O A S. O A S. And um, you know, do you know Liz Koch? Yes. She wrote the yes. So she when I had a yoga studio back in the 90s in Sarasota, she came and she did a whole weekend workshop for us. It was very fun. Mm -hmm. Yes, an entire workshop of a weekend devoted to a muscle. Uh, but it's that important. So anyway, you get the Aww. idea, everyone. It's so nice having you. Thank oh, you thank both. You. Thank, thank you, you all so for being here. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. It's great to have a guest. That's awesome. Thank you. I know, wasn't that right, fun? Mary's just signed up. That's exciting. Yeah, definitely. Mary's just signed up. Thank you, Mary. I know that a lot of you are doing that because I get another um another notification on my other device here so be sure to email us uh as we wrap up in this one minute um if you purchase during this time for info at sibosos.com and if you um are watching the recording welcome and thank you i'm very excited about this um then you automatically get the you don't automatically you get the dr tia trevisano biological dentistry holistic approach to hormones and acupuncture and tooth meridians. It's very, very interesting. That's a $59 value. And you do need to email us your uh, proof of purchase to um, info at SIBOSOS.com. Okay. Thank you, Clarissa, for keeping it straight. Goodbye, you two. Thank you so much for thank being you. here. Thank Namaste. You so much. Thank you, Siobhan. And thank you, everybody, for staying on the call and joining us live and everybody who's watching the recording. We, we love you. So thank you. you. I'm excited. This is going to be special. What are you doing this summer? Whether you're super busy and you just carve out five minutes here and there, or you're like, you know what? 
can't go to summer camp. I'm not going on a retreat. I'm not going to go in a cabin in the woods. Here's the way to do that kind of self-care that is approachable, understandable, and will it not just be in the moment of self-care, but give you skills and wisdom to help carry you forward through the multi-seasons of your life. And if you can share that information with an elder and a younger, um, then you're just going to be reinforcing it more. And I know the people that come to these calls are light bearers. You're the leaders. You're the ones who people are coming to for medical advice and for wisdom. Although this wasn't officially medical advice. It's just information. Um, you're thought leaders. And, we, and you're also people who care enough about yourself to seek ongoing learning. And I have the deepest respect for you. And I hope that you will take advantage of, the of this beautiful opportunity if it's a fit. Okay. Thanks everybody. Take Bye. care. Bye. 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 Bye, Clarissa. Thanks all. Bye. Bye.